Hi everyone, I'm Little Poke Girl and I'm going to be doing some booster box opening. I'm also going to be opening the Champions Pass uh, booster packs, uh, four of them. I'm also going to be opening the Pristine Surprise Bag. Just got them for $4 at Dollarama. It's uh, the dollar store that's here where I live in Canada. So yeah, let's get started. So, I am going to be opening the surprise packs first, but first for you guys, oh, upside down, yep, here is the code card, that is for, uh, just a random V card, there you go guys, also, so, So basically, we, I have opened a couple of these packs before. They have, honestly, like just a bunch of variety of stuff. It comes with three different things and also some sleeves. It comes with a pack of, I think it's 62 sleeves or 60, not exactly sure. I think it's 62 though. And then it also comes with the three packs. The three packs in this one are three cards which, as you can see, the one is guaranteed a hollow. Then there's the four, it's just the uh, colored monsters, not guaranteed anything good. And then a trainer's pack. So, let's get open. I, ha I have opened, like I said, a few of these. One of the ones I've opened is why I like them, you can get a pack called, well a, like one of the plastic packs in it called a, um, the, um, sorry, uh, on the box, I forget what it's called, um, the ultra pack. It has only one card in it, but the one card can be a VMAX, a break, a, like one of the, like, big hitter cards. I actually got a, um, Incineroar out of it, GX, out of one of these, and it was actually a really good day for me. <laughs> but, so for the first pack we opened, this is the three cards plus the hollow. We have a Maui, a Raboot, and a Darkrai hollow, which is actually a pretty card. I really like the hollow and the that card. Oh, that's the three pack. This is the three pack of trainers. I guess this is just like a little protective card they call it, which I don't see how it protects it. But anyways, we have a citrus berry. We have an energy vest. I don't know why they're always one upside down. I don't know why, but there always is. But we have a Chaotic Well. Sorry, Chaotic Well. I still said that wrong. <laughs> Garbage out of the way. And to open the four card colored monsters. So we have a horsey, and then there's the upside down cards, <laughs> the Magikarp, a Poliwag, and a Slowpoke. And like I said, you're not very guaranteed a good card out of the four colored packs. Uh, I've never gotten a good part card of that. And now for the second surprise bag. For dollar store packs, these are probably my favorite because you can get some pretty decent cards. You can get also like ones that are like four packs of like three uh, commas and one premium card and stuff like that and that's our store as well. But they're not very good and I've never really gotten anything out of it. So we've got the four cards. 
which is a little bit different from the other four cards. We've got the three cards, Garantia Hollow again, and then the Trainer Pack again. There we go out of the way. Um, we'll open the four cards first this time. The four, this four pack, I'm not sure if you are guaranteed anything out of it. It is a little different than the other, but not by much. It is just common to set as well normally. But we have the Kukuna, we have a Ducklet, a very cute Pikachu sitting by a rainbow, <laughs> and a Torchic. So, now we are opening the trainer's pack. Alright, so we have a Lieutenant Surge, a Strategy, a Rare Candy, and then we have a Milo. And last but not least, we will be opening these three cards with the Guaranteed Hollow. Kind of do wish it was like a guaranteed one premium card or something. That would be a lot cooler. But a hollow good, hollow good too. <laughs> Alright. So, we have the Onage. We have a Pelper. And for the hollow, we have a Galarian Obstagoon. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's the reverse hollow. Kind of a prettier card. I find the hollows a little bit more prettier. They have a bit more artwork and stuff on them. Alright, so what we will be opening next is the Champion's Path. I will be honest, I haven't opened a Champion's Pack before. I've opened lots of packs, but the Champion's Pack have always been a little bit too expensive. But I got a couple this time off of eBay, so let's go for it. And I didn't cut that enough. That is a white coat card. I've heard that, uh, just a rumor that the white coat card sometimes can contain a good card. I'm not 100% sure, but I've been told and also seen off of other videos. So let's see if that's the truth. <laughs> so there's a Sharpedo, the Arbok. The Kabu Trainer, a Kavana, a Potion, there's a Rock Ruff, a Weedle, a Swablu, uh, the Galarian Linoon, I think that's how you pronounce it, and we did! We got the God of War VMAX! <laughs> well, so I guess the the white coat card is true, but that is a very beautiful card. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. So for my first Champions Path pack, I got a very, very pretty card. So we're gonna put that in the sleeve. from my very first pack we pulled something good good news <laughs> maybe I'll have some luck with 
the rest of my bulk today. For the Legendary Heart bo Beat box, I am going for the, hopefully, the Jirachi today. Really wanting that Jirachi. <laughs> so, there's the code card. And the card trick. Alrighty. So, we have an Arbok. We have a Bidet. We have a Machok. Sorry, Machok. <laughs> I said that a little off. <laughs> a Weedle, a Purloin, a Pokeball, oh, an Inke, a Zigzagoon, a Hat Trim, and then we have a Full Art Hop. Oh my gosh! Another awesome pull. So maybe today is definitely a good luck day. <laughs> that is a very beautiful card. I will be honest, I do have two other full art hops, but I bought them. I, they aren't pulled. So the fact that I actually pulled one, this makes me very happy. <laughs> it's like beautiful. It's a little off from up to down. But other than that, it's pretty on point. Leave on that one. Put that over aside. Move the other cards aside. Hmm. Wonder which one to. You know what? Let's open the card four pack. The artwork on these packs is just very pretty. Right. So, the second last champion's top pack. Wonder if this one's gonna have something good too. It would be kind of shocking if I've got all good pull packs. <laughs> so that will be like the first for me. There's your code card. Alright. For the card trick. Here's the front. Oh, and they're upside down. Sorry guys. <laughs> Alright. So, we have a rod and bike trainer. We have a... Sharpedo. We have a Pyre. I think that's how you pronounce it. A Match Hop. A Woolly Koi. A Carvana. A Potion. Rock Riff. Then a Malamar Reverse Follow. A little weird looking to be honest. I'm not a big fan with the artwork on that one. Oh! And then we have a Hatrin V. Or, sorry, a Hatrin, uh, not V, a Hatrin uh, Hollow as well. A rare. A very pretty card, actually. Hatrin looks a little. Like, head looks a little big in this picture, but that's okay. <laughs> and then the energy. And then for the last champion's fast pack. Make sure I don't cut any of those cards. I honestly just prefer cutting them as it takes me forever to try to get into them when opening them the normal way. And this way, they don't get ruined either. <laughs> But I didn't. Alright, so there's a tow card. Card trick. And upside down again. Sorry, guys. And then we have a regular hop. A pyre. I think that's how you pronounce it again. Sonya. A Garlarian Linoon. Carvana, a Swablu, a Sizzlepede, a Weedle, uh, we have a Reverse Hollow Scraggy, 
I'll be honest with you. First, I just never really liked the Scraggy Pokemon. It's not my favorite. It's, I just find it very odd. <laughs> and then we have a Hollow Rare Marnie. It's a very pretty card as well. And then we have the Energy. Tipped over there. Sorry about that. All right. So just to kind of go over the pulls we did get from those two packs. We got the Gardevoir VMAX, which again is like a very pretty card, and I was not expecting that. And then we got the Hop, which is one of my favorite trainer full art cards. I just love the artwork on it. Alright, so we'll get the garbage out of the way. Oh, my one foot's falling asleep. <laughs> And now, for the Legendary Heartbeat Booster Box. So, I have opened a few already. Uh, three now, this is my fourth. I can never seem to get these open. I have the longest nails ever, but I still can't ever get them open. For some reason. Oh, I've got... There we go. A lot of people like to keep the plastic, but honestly, the Legendary Heartbeat Booster Box isn't the oldest version of Pokemon. And I do have other boxes that are pristine, so and one does have the plastic, so to me it's just I don't feel like I need to keep the plastic on them. All right, the initial opening of the box. Seemed a little off on the perforations. <laughs> and there. I'll be honest with you, the very first box I opened, it took me about like 20 minutes to even get into it. I did not have any clue on how to open it. It was just mind boggling to me. <laughs> I had no idea. Watched many pe videos of other people opening them, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> Alright, so that is the inside of the booster box. This booster box contains 20 packs in each box. And each pack contains 7 cards. So you get a little less, but I really like the fact that you get the amazing rare out of every box. One guaranteed. And I've also seen to get pretty good pulls out of the boxes. I've gotten the Toga Kisses, which are my favorite cards. I've also gotten the Steelix Full Art, which is another one of my favorite cards. So it's one of my more favorite booster opening boxes. Shuffle. Make it a little bit more random. Like I said at the beginning, I am so hoping I get that Jirachi. That would be just exciting. I would be so happy if I got it. So far I've got the Celebi, the Zycan, and the Zementa. So now I just need the Jirachi, the Aquiza, the um, sorry I'm having a brain fart of what their name is. Raikou. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I 
right guys, my throat was a little dry. And time for pack number one. I like to open the packs from the bottom there. It's a little better than I don't ruin any of the top artwork and stuff. Let me cut off a little bit to the letters. Alright. So, a lot of people don't do a card trick with these ones. Some people do and three. And I prefer to do two. It just it puts the um good card at the second last and I just prefer it that way but so we have a Alistair honestly I will be honest I don't know a lot of the names because of the Japanese although I have opened other boxes and I do watch Pokemon it's a lot of the newer Pokemon are in these boxes and I'm not into the newer seasons at this moment I like I prefer the older seasons so I like to watch those ones instead of the new ones. I also don't really like the graphic of the new ones. And then we have the big back. There's a wheel. I think that's Metagross. Uh, Metang, sorry. Or Metagross. One of the two. And then we have a... Uh, I honestly forget the name. <laughs> and a Magneta, I'm pretty sure. So also, just to give you guys like a little bit of an update on the world of Pokemon and stuff, and for people who maybe haven't heard or have watched videos and other people haven't really talked about it, Katy Perry is going to be uh, collaborating with a Universal Music Group, and they are going to be making the theme music for Pokemon this year for 2021. They will slowly be releasing, releasing it into episodes and other things in their games and stuff. So you keep, uh, in te uh, yeah, keep up with that, and, and you'll see if the new videos and stuff have Katy Perry in it. <laughs> and that is a oh, I forget his name. <laughs> There's a double energy. Rockruff, Ayama, the Dedean. I don't know why they always seem to make the Dedean uh, play, but and we have the Alcremie V and the Alcremie V Max. I actually really love these cards. I did get them out of my last booster box. It is exciting, but I did have that initial excitement last time, but. I really like the artwork on these cards. They're very pretty. It's just like the way her eyes shine and stuff is just very pretty. <laughs> and put those two on the sleeves. Oh, wrong way. Back into the pile. V Max into the sleeve. And I did it again. Wrong way. <laughs> do that a lot with these sleeves all right now for the third pack Alrighty. And also if you thought i was done with the updates on the news i wasn't <laughs> there's also going to be a concert for post malone on Twitch and on YouTube. I didn't see the trick for that. Sorry, guys. Um, he is going to be doing it on the 27th. It is for the anniversary for Pokemon, for the 21st anniversary. So don't forget to log in and watch his music videos and concerts because I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be tuning in. I have a friend who's not so much into Pokemon, but she loves Post Malone, so she might be coming over to watch the concert with me on TV. We have the trainer, a Yamaga, uh, 
Oh, that, that's his name. <laughs> Pinecone. A big peck. That's a Zygarde Hollow. And then a Beedle. I have said it in other videos, but I just like to recap sometimes. I find the Japanese artwork a lot prettier. Like, they just seem to use a lot more brighter colors and stuff. And their hollows just seem a little, a little bit more, like, eye-catching, if that's the right word. <laughs> I just, just even their packs, just the way their packs are, is just a lot more eye-catching than the uh, American and Canadian. Like, to do a little comparison. It's a lot more pop, you know what I mean? Well, I do hope you guys like this video a little bit more than my last few. My last few I did have to do commentary as I did have a broken microphone on my laptop, which I did not realize it was broken. I did a mic test before doing the video, but for some reason it decided to cut out when I was doing the video, which was upsetting, but I did do the commentary for them, so I apologize if they weren't as exciting as this one, but I did try my best. <laughs> so we have the trainer, and then we have the Clefairy. I I don't like this Clefairy. It's just very awkward and weird looking. It's just the way they drew it is just not the greatest artwork. They do have great artwork, but that one is just not the greatest. It's like the Dene. But then we have a Rilo, a Kakuna, there's a Shatot. Um, I don't remember their name, honestly. It's a very pretty hollow. And then we have a Mickey Rock. Alright, for another pack. So, just for a little bit more update on the news, uh, Poke TV will be releasing a special musical episode or episodes for on February 27th as well. But they will be going on for longer than the 27th. That's just their release date. They are for the 25th anniversary, and they're I guess special musical um, with like the Pokemon and Ash and everything so I'm gonna be looking into it just to see what it's like but I've heard that it's gonna be cool. <laughs> Alright, so there's the trainer. I want to say it's Giraffite but I don't know for sure. <laughs> uh, Joltik. Kakuna. Another Shatwat. Oh, and then we have the Zerod V. I did get, I've honestly gotten him out of every box I've pulled. I think he's just a very, like, a common V. Like, if that's even a thing. A Yamaga. <laughs> we'll put him into a sleeve. But he, he has pretty artwork. But honestly, he's, I pulled him out of every box. So he's not, uh, the most exciting card for me anymore, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, for another one. And honestly guys, if there's anything that you think that I could do better or that you would like to see or anything like that, just put it in the comments. I'm always open for options and suggestions. So, we have the trainer. We have a protrusion. Like that little slip. <laughs> have a shot top. I'm not sure about that one's name, to be honest. Wolfer. I find this card so cute. I don't know why. I just he's just very cute. Taking a little bubble bath. <laughs> oh, and we have the Toga Kiss V and the Toga Kiss V Max. These are literally. I don't know why, but Toga Kiss is just my, one of my favorite Pokemon. After I seen it on uh, an episode in season, I think it was. Season 9 of the older seasons of Pokemon that he came in. Either season 9 or season 10. I'm now on season 19, so <laughs> it's 
soon getting up to the newer episodes, which I'm obviously going to have to watch if I want to be able to continue on what's going on in the Pokemon shows, but I'm still always going to be a old Pokemon lover. <laughs> Eventually I do really, really, really want to open up a set pack, and, or even like a box. My older brother used to be really into Pokemon, so when I was a younger kid, I used to always open them with him, and I was always so excited too, but I honestly stopped, because it was never something that I was completely into, it was more my brother, just kind of let me have a little fun with him, so... I'm kind of glad I got back into it though. It's actually a very fun hobby. And then there's Protrusion. We have a Hero's Gold Metal uh, Trainer. We have the Beldum. Again, I'm not sure his name. <laughs> we have the Clefairy. Clefairy is a little bit better than the Clefable. It's not so like, face isn't so like wonky looking. Um. Oh, I forgot the tongue, but I forget it. Hmm. I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> Executor. Alright. Oh, put another back. Well, I'm just hoping the good cards are at the back and I just didn't do a very good shuffle. <laughs> Normally I do get some pretty decent pulls, but... There's always gotta be that one odd box out of the back, right? don't know the name of it, but it looks like a, it, I think it's like the Moo Moo Teeth or something. I, I do know it's like a, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> and it's a Fortress, a Pinecone, Electric, a Shackle, and then that's a Hollow Dioga. I find them very flashy. And then that's, uh, oh, I should know his name. For some reason, I forget it. I see him in the show all the time. <laughs> so we have one, two, four, six. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve packs left. Right, I think I'm going to give these a little shuffle because it almost seems like my shuffle. I should have had a little bit more spread out pulls than what's been happening. <laughs> there, we'll just put them in one big pile now. Alright. Like, she just looks a little bit like a witch. <laughs> Alright, that was, that's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, Garbantula. Wooper. Weedle. Shuppet. That's actually, I normally see a lot more than just one Shuppet. That's the first Shuppet I've seen. It's very surprising. I'm honestly not sure who he is. I haven't honestly gotten this hollow before. Out of the three other boxes I've opened, I do I haven't gotten this all before, so I'm not sure who that is to be honest. And then I'm pretty sure that's Metagross. I think it's Lucario. I think that's, yeah, Lucario. 
just remembered it. Like I said, it was on the tip of my tongue, but I couldn't remember it. <laughs> I'm not sure his name. Yama. <laughs> Dean. Sorry, Dedene. Everybody says it differently. Oh, okay. And then we have the rainbow, I'm not sure her name, but a rainbow card. Wow, that one's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the back's perfect. Wow, perfect. Not very, it's not off in any way. Wow. Put her into a sleeve. I'm gonna have to search up after and find out what her name was. <laughs> Cool. All right, for another one. I've only pulled now my that's my second rainbow. I don't get the greatest luck when it comes to pulling rainbows, and I've also pulled the one gold hero medal out of the very first box I've opened, which was actually a very exciting pull. I had a gold colossal when I first started collecting. I went to a little hometown store we have, and I ended up showing it to them, and they were very interested and offered me $15. Back then I thought it was like a great deal. I went home and I searched it up and I realized that it was a gold colossal and it was actually worth like 60 to $70 ungraded. I, I was so upset afterwards, but I got the gold one not too long after. So I was a little excited about having a new gold card. <laughs> and there's the trainer, the churchin, the clefairy, Kuna, Shuckle, there's a Lugia, all of Lugia. I find this one very, like, actually pretty, just the colors and stuff and the way her, like, well, her head could be whatever, <laughs> the face, like, pops out compared to the rest, it's really pretty. And then the Garbantula. Another one. Right. I will be honest, the only thing I'm not the greatest fan of about the front of the packs, they could have like maybe, you know, for like one pack, did like the one guy in like a popping type way, and then the other, just like mo a lot of other people do, and other packs are. But like, just the fact that they're like all the same, it's just a little bit like plain in my eyes. But the artwork is pretty. Just seeing the same thing over and over again gets kind of. There's the trainer. Not sure that one's name. I said I think it's Rat Pipe, I'm not sure. <laughs> Rilo. Execute. First execute I've seen this whole time. It's different. <laughs> Joltik. Shaman. Shaman's actually one of my favorite uh, cards out of this. Although it's just a regular hollow wear, it's actually one of my favorite uh, cards out of the set. Just the artwork and stuff is so pretty. And Shaman's one of my favorite uh, Pokemon. It's just very pretty, elegant Pokemon. And the Fortress. Alright, we are down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. Well, wow. Alright. Maybe we'll get these eight packs a little bit of a shot. Give them a little bit of a different order. There we go.
Hmm. Pack's a little odd. The way they have it sealed is almost like the sealer doesn't fully seal it because it's a little or punctures or something on the one part. It was a little weird. I've never seen a fish that flat. <laughs> Even a stingray aren't flat like that. Anyways, <laughs> rock roof, yama, fairy, then there's the tornado uh, hollow. Honestly, I am not the biggest fan of this one. They just have too much going on for this hollow. It's just, the first time I looked at it, I honestly like, it's tornadoes and you should know it's tornadoes, but the way they have it, you can't actually tell it's tornadoes. Craig Sire. Alright. Card trick. The trainer that looks a little uh, odd. <laughs> Zygarde, or Zygrade, and then the very odd looking Clefairy. Alright, well we're getting close to the end of the video, so I will say the last little bit of poking news that I have for the night. So, I don't know if you guys knew or heard, but Pokemon is getting a new, well, yeah, new and also, I think it's maybe the first time they've done it, I'm not sure, it didn't actually say about that, but they are joining up with the uh, skateboard brand called Bear Walker, and they are going to be making Pokemon themed skateboards. Um, I'm honestly actually kind of, like, iffy on getting my son one, he's little like still a toddler but he could use it when he's older right so i'm kind of one thinking about getting him one just because it's like limited time it's gonna be the first only first and only time it's gonna be happening right so i think i might be getting him one and also they're going to be they have delta bears for pikachu and bulbasaur and stuff like that but they are getting a new pikachu and a uh, charizard and stuff i guess for um, their 25th anniversary as well so basically all the hollows they had. So Charmander, I guess it would be not Charizard. But yeah, so that's what they will be doing. I'm actually really excited. My son does have a Build-A-Bear. You can see it beside me. I kind of use it for the pictures <laughs> and videos. But yeah, I'm probably going to be getting him another Build-A-Bear. Probably a Char uh, the Charmander or the Bulbasaur or something different this time. But yeah, they're basically after the Halloween ones they have going on, so it's kind of exciting. <laughs> that is the Marnie Trainer, Quagsire, Matang, Weedle, Electric. Oh, and we have an Amphorest V. This is actually one of my favorite cards out of it. It's just so pop. Like, it just pops. It's just very pretty, too. And, for, and, and Forest is just, like, a really cute Pokemon. It's, like, it's big, but it looks like you can just, like, go up and hug it. Like, it just looks like a very cuddly Pokemon. <laughs> and then a very flat stunfish again. <laughs> so we'll put the Amphorus in the sleeve. Alright, guys. So we are down to the last five packs. Wow, box went by a little quick, but can't last forever. <laughs> it's 
So, for my next videos, I will be doing Korean boxes. I have a Korean box on its way, and in four days, I will be buying three more. So, next month, I can do the Korean box opening of the week as well. I'm actually very excited because I got the VMAX Rising box, and I've seen that it was could be very good pulls and then I've heard it's actually a very good exciting box and I've I'll, I've never opened a Korean box honestly I've never opened an American box either I've opened only Japanese like foreign I prefer the foreign cards only for the fact that most people are into the American and stuff and I prefer to be a little different <laughs> I think I did the card trick already no I didn't All right, oh, I definitely did. All right, well, I messed that up, so there's the hollow, guys. <laughs> it's a Reggie Rock. Down there. Lincoln Rock, the Energy, Beedrill, a Shepet, a Pick Pack, and a Beldum. My apologies about that pack, guys. I got a little bit attracted by talking and didn't realize that I already did the card trick. <laughs> We all make mistakes sometimes, I guess, though, right? <laughs> Alright, guys. Four more packs. Let's hope for something good. And uh, that amazing rare is in here still. <laughs> I think you're guaranteed one amazing rare per box. A little odd if I didn't get an amazing rare for the box. Alright. There's a trainer. A fortress. A pickback. Shepard, Whooper, taking a bath. <laughs> ah, I think that's Declan. I'm not exactly sure though. And maybe not. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sunfish. Last three packs. Let's see if that amazing rare is in here. I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> There's a stone energy, two cannon. I'm not sure what his name is. I know two cannon and pick back the first evil from the last, but I don't know the. I don't know why. I honestly never even seen them in the seasons, so I think they must be from the newer seasons. Execute. Rilo. Cementa. Fairy. Last two packs. Amazing rare. Please be one of you. I'll be a little upset if I don't get an amazing rare this time. I'll be a little odd too. I would assume there would be like a factory error in that case. You are on this one. There's the Marnie. Lincoln Rock, Metacross, or sorry, Metang, <laughs> Pinecone, Rilo, and we got a Nether Zementa. Well, the Amazing Rare was in there. <laughs> so this is the second Zementa we have. We have both the Zementa before. Right up here. So we now do have two, but you can't really complain about having two. They're all worth something, right? So, and honestly, I'm kind of just debating on holding them for my son for when he's older. So, to me, it's not really about the money. It's more about uh, just the fun, and you know, doing what you love. <laughs> Leave. He is going into a heart. That one's a little dusty. I'm not going to use that one. There. And then again, it's a mess. Bye. Alright, guys. Last but not least, very last pack of the day.
I hope you enjoyed my video and again if you feel as there's anything you know you feel like I need to change do or maybe even add feel free to add into the comments I also do a twitch stream on playing the Pokemon game I do also once in a while play COD <laughs> and other games just to get out of the you know get in the mood of playing games and just to twitch and be on videos for all of you. <laughs> so we have a twin energy. Magneto, I think you're saying this. Electric, oh sorry, Joltic, that one's Joltic. A Beldum. A Kakuna. And I'm honestly not sure what that one is. Very pretty hollow though. And then a Yamag, Yamaga, sorry. Alrighty. So just to go over our pulls for the day. For the American Bulls, we got the Hop, and we got the Gardevoir V Max, and for the Japanese, we got the Enforest V, we got the very, very pretty and exciting Rainbow, we got the Togekiss V Max. And the Turkey Kid B, my favorite part, <laughs> is the Rod B, the Al Creamy V Max, and the Al Creamy V, and the Zementa V. I'm sorry, the Zementa Amazing Rare. <laughs> my bad, guys. So, I think that was a, a pretty good pull. Pretty good pulls for the day, I should say. Not just a pull, because there was more than just one. And yeah, so I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And like and subscribe my Twitch as well. Thanks, guys.